What's up? It's Counselor Jay here with two quick tips that I think will uh, improve your, your resume descriptions, which also become really important for when you're filling out your, your college applications. Your applications are going to probably limit you for the common app 150 characters. If you saw my previous video, uh, I think the UCs is 300. I have to dive into that and confirm. Uh, but yeah, usually if you write a really good resume, then your activities become a piece of cake to fill out the descriptions in your, in your, in your applications. So right here, I have a very common way I've seen students write their resume points. Uh, let's say it's a random club. It could be whatever club you want. Obviously, this is just an example that I give and the format that I give to my students. Uh, but let's say you run a club, you're the founder, and you say, I ran club meetings and hosted club events. Let me see if I can make that bigger for you guys. There you go. So let's say you said this as your bullet point. Okay, so two tips I give my students on the right-hand side, make sure that you quantify and make sure that you try to name drop. So let's try to apply both. Let me try doing it live here. Um, uh, directed over 30 volunteers and um, and three officer teams to um, Quarterly. Sorry, I'm. I know I should be talking, but I'm kind of in the zone right now. United. Let's see. Do you guys do boba sales still? Or Sorry, so I was in the zone. Uh, notice what I'm doing with the video, uh, with the descriptions. Uh, I'm trying to make sure that I'm using active verbs. I, I love using leadership verbs, directed, managed, organized. Even if you're a member, you can mention things like assisted. Even if you're a member, you could still talk about how many other volunteers you work with or how many other teams that you got involved in. Uh, so hopefully you guys see what I mean by quantifying. I'm trying to put in numbers. Maybe I should put some quantifications here. Uh, with uh, maybe you could say like five plus school partnerships. Um, also, I'm doing name drops. So instead of saying hosted club events, I'm putting in the actual names of some of these events. Now, keep in mind, user judgment, you don't want to be doing uh, a full list of things. I think I like broad to specific. It's a it's kind of concept that I've been teaching my students when they're writing about um, in their essays, their activities. You want to be broad in a sense, but then also note some example A, B, and C. I think three should be enough. But yeah, uh, my tip here is when you want to improve and make yourself look dapper, guys, your resume is supposed to be like your profile picture, your professional profile pic. I joke about this, but it's true. So many of my students spend more time figuring out and like fussing about how they look in their Instagram profile pic. You guys don't use Facebook anymore, right? That's, that's kind of boomer millennial. Like Zoomers use Instagram, right? TikTok. You guys focus more on how good you guys look on your profile pics for those social media apps that you guys use. And no, don't even realize like how important your resume is. Your resume is your profile picks to colleges, to, to professional opportunities, to summer programs. So if you want to kind of look dapper and uh, improve the way you look, check this out. Try to quantify, try to name job. All right. Thanks, y'all.